in the North. Maybe a little bit surprised here. I'm going to go with Jordan Love and the Packers. I think the team around him is good. It's solid. Um, is that a good good reaction over there, D-Rob? Yep, I'm going to also have the hot take of agreeing with you on that. Okay, good, good. Uh, in the North, I'm all about the Lions. All about the Lions. Um, that team showed me so much last year. Um, they had a good draft. They picked. They needed a running game. They picked up a good run back. Uh, they needed a linebacker. They picked up a good linebacker in the draft. They they had a good draft. They they're Jared Goff is is the most underrated quarterback for some goddamn reason. Nobody gives him any credit. Okay, he took the team to the Super Bowl. Uh, he came over here where he was. They were supposed to be throwing him away. They threw him to the Lions to die, right? And all he did was resurrected the the Lions. I love their coach. I love him. I would love for him to be the Jets coach. I love everything about that guy. Um, it's, it's the Lions all the way over there. And, you know. Well, the Lions they, will be worse this year. The Lions will be worse. Yeah. Because. They're going to be worse than last year. Because they're not going to go on a seven-game winning streak this exactly. year. Exactly. They're, they're not going to play over their heads like last year. But they're also not going to start one and six like they did last year either. That's right. So, That's right. This is a team on the, yeah. on the come. Trust me. Dr. You picked the Packers. Who knows anything about Jordan Love? I mean, you are just blindly picking a, a team. That okay. blind. That no, blind. How is this blind? What do we know uh, about Jordan I, Love? What do I'll we know you, about? I'll tell you one thing. Tell me. This slightly influenced my decision here. The Packers have a good team. We're taking away quarterback. They have a good team aside from that. Now you look at the preseason. I know it's preseason, third stringers, whatever. They have the best preseason offense and the best preseason defense. Again, I know it's preseason. But there's a reason why they took Jordan Love. There's Dante, a reason why they believed in him. Dante, they couldn't make the playoffs last year. They couldn't even squeak out that division last year. And they had Rodgers at quarterback. And, and the Packers, if they couldn't get there with Rodgers last year, there's no way they're going to get in the playoffs this year with, with Jordan Love, who we know nothing about. So, right. so using that logic, the Packers aren't going to make the playoffs until when? Until Jordan Love proves something to me, and I don't well, think that's, he that's this year. That's this year. Okay, well, uh, well we're going to find out. We're a few months away from finding out how wrong you are. If anything, honestly, I think they're going to come in third in that division because the Vikings are going to come out ahead of them. So uh, you, have, you have the Bears in last. Yeah, the Bears are nothing. The Bears are still nothing. The Bears are still the Bears will never. I think the Bears forever will be nothing again. It, it's, it's been a long time, and it's going to be another long time. The Bears ain't going anywhere. Um, for the North, I have the Packers. Yes, I do have the Packers. Um, I I, com I completely understand the argument that no more. They didn't make it where Aaron Rodgers had to go to make it with Jordan Love, but I think in this instance that just doesn't matter. They had a much tougher schedule last year, and I, you have a better defense this year. And the, the Packers are going to be playing the game by running the ball. They're going to drain teams. They're going to drain the clock. They're going to be in low-scoring games. And I think they'll do just a good good enough job to get sneak out nine, nine, ten wins.